Now we are going to talk about the concepts of total propagated uncertainty and we'll be focusing on the horizontal uncertainty or the THU. So the first thing that we need to know, what is actually total propagated uncertainty? So TPU is actually a three-dimensional uncertainty with all contributing measurement uncertainties included. And sometimes we can call TPU as error budget because basically what we're trying to do with TPU is we are going to budget our errors because of course every single measurement has errors, but we have a toleration like how much error actually can we uh, tolerate. So as an example, we've got a configuration, we've got our ship, the ship has its own reference frame. And then you've got your GNSS with its own reference frame. Then your multi-beam has their own um, reference frame. And then maybe there's another thing in here uh, with an offset and then it's got its own reference frame. Each reference frame, of course, if we imagine that every single uh, center point of this reference frame as this zero, 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 Okay, so that's X, Y, Z is zero, zero, and zero. We will have a horizontal uncertainty because sometimes, uh, for example, a GNSS measurement, sometimes it has like an uncertainty in its horizontal positioning. And then you've also got your vertical uncertainty. So for example, if a multi-beam is surveying, it has its own uh, vertical uncertainty, like it's uncertain of how, um, the, how deep actually is uh, the measurement. So the total uncertainty, the TPU or the error budget is actually this, where uh, the total uncertainty is actually the horizontal uncertainty plus the vertical uncertainty. So when we are talking about the horizontal, we are only talking about the two-dimensional quantity with all the contributing horizontal measurements. So all the horizontal measurements. So this is actually how it looks like. Uh, you compute THU uh, based on the S44 uh, of IHO. Just look at the depth of DHU that you're looking for. We're going to talk about this in details later. And you add the percentage of the depth that you are actually doing. Uh, so uh, in THU, you can see from this graph, so this is basically uh, a graph for each order. So you've got your special order, there are order one, two, and then you've got the uh, limited, which is quite new. And basically that what you're looking for is actually this. So you've got a THU that, is ver that varies linearly with depth. So when you've got more depth, of course, you have more error budget. So when you've got more depth, you have more room for toleration, of course. And then um, the contributing factors are this. So you've got your positioning system error, and then your range and beam, vessel heading, transducer, sensor location, everything on this will affect your THU. And the total of your THU, the total of each error must be smaller than your standard THU. So the standard THU is this. You can see this uh, at the S44 IHO standard document. Uh, for example, you're going to do an order of 1A where you, you're surveying in an area where the under clearance is, um, underkill clearance, sorry, is not that critical, but some features uh, that is concerning to shipping might exist. So you need a THU of, five meters plus 5% of the depth. So if you're surveying at 25 meters depth, then your standard THU must not surpass 6.25. So that's what I was trying to say. So basically, if you're doing a survey uh, at around 25 meters depth at order 1A, so you really need to, um, to define in which order that you're looking, uh, that you're working on, if you're in order 1A, then it cannot surpass 6.25 meters. 